Well, it looks like we got another one of those hikes where the drive to it is just gorgeous. Holy shit, there's a twister next to me. There's a fucking tornado. Oh, there it is again, see? Yeah, but it was like 50 times bigger. Holy shit, look, look. Holy fuck. What the hell? Yo. On the last backpacking trip up to Mason Lake, I brought the 105 mil. This time I'm bringing the 90. So, kind of testing out both, both lenses, seeing which one suits my style better. Young hiker dies falling off cliff while precariously perched on top of a rock before making it to the trailhead. I can see the headline right now. As far as the hike itself goes, this is turning in to one of my favorites. You get to hike along this river the whole time pretty much, and it's one of the coolest rivers that I've seen. There's so many cool features to it, a lot of cool places to hit good vantage points, and a lot of cool falls, so really, really enjoying this so far. Good God. This trail's got me feeling like Clark Griswold. You look great. Little full, lot of fat. Dang, we got a pretty solid waterfall just up here. That is sweet. Well, I think this is deserving of a picture, so. I'm gonna throw the Pentax on the tripod. I was waiting in the undertow. Set a drift with featherweight light bulb. All right, F16 at four seconds with a three stop ND filter on to smooth out the flow of the water. See how this turns out. I keep forgetting to use mirror lockup. I have mirror lockup again and I keep forgetting to use it. So I'm gonna shoot it again just with mirror lockup. I got plenty of film with me. Um, maybe we'll compare the two and see if you can actually see a difference at four seconds. All right, same frame, same settings, mirror lockup. Here we go. I'm really stoked with how these two images turned out. Still going back and forth on which one I like better, although I think I'm leaning towards the first one just because I like the additional sunlight entering the top half of the frame. I think it adds a nice layer of depth to the image, but everything from the exposure to the colors to the composition and the decision to use the three-stop ND to smooth out the water, I think it all panned together super nicely. And to be honest, this is probably one of my favorite landscape images I've ever taken. Oh, 
about the last half a mile I've been hiking in the river. So my feet are soaking wet, but it is pretty damn cool to just hike through the river to get to the lake. I can't get over how cool the river system is up here. I think we have a lot of overflow though because of the heat wave and melted so much snow that a lot of this water just doesn't know where to go. But dang, it makes for a very, very cool landscape. And the moment that makes it all work. Well, it's gorgeous up here and very windy, which uh, was unexpected and that's making it a bit chilly and I don't have a very thick coat with me, so <laughs> tonight might be interesting. First order of business is to locate a campsite. I'm gonna walk that way down the lake where it appears as though there are some campsites. Hopefully there's still a few available. I don't know where all the people are. I mean, I saw, what, like 15 cars in the parking lot? and I saw about two people on the trail, and so far I've seen nobody up here. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, I'm gonna walk down the lake a little bit, try to find a camp spot, and then I gotta figure out if I wanna hike up this ridge to Rampart Lake, and maybe Lila Lake too. I can't decide. Sunset from up on top of the ridge might be cool, but there's some pretty thick clouds kind of moving in and out, so I'm not sure if there will, there will even be a sunset. But it might be worth it. Um, Anyway, and I'm gonna go set up the campsite though. Well, this is about the flattest campsite I've ever got. It's kind of nice. A little bit of a bummer. Weather looks like it's gonna be less than ideal. Pretty freaking windy. A lot of clouds rolling in. It's not what it was saying on the forecast, on the report, but this thing about the mountains, weather can change in an instant, and I guess it's kind of doing that this evening, so. I don't know what my plan is. The light is pretty terrible. I'm not seeing a lot of good photo opportunities. Hopefully something presents itself. I may hike up the ridge tonight, so I'm unsure. I'm just gonna get my tent set up, trying to get, try to get some protection from the wind. As I was setting up my tent that night, an overwhelming wave of self-doubt started creeping over me. I felt like I made a mistake coming up to the mountains and could hardly find the motivation to get out of my tent. I even considered packing up and hiking out that night. Something about the stormy weather, aching muscles, and aggressive solitude was rubbing me the wrong way. This isn't the first time I've had these thoughts while out backpacking, and I'm sure it won't be the last. But I try to remind myself that every time I return home from a trip to the backcountry, I have zero regrets. I feel accomplished and learn a little bit more about myself each and every time. And that's enough for me.
The next morning, I woke up refreshed and motivated. A much needed change of pace from the night prior. My boots were still soaked from the hike up, so I dealt with it in classic Bray fashion. Nothing like a little DIY project up in the mountains. There was some low rolling fog falling into the lake basin, and the sun started poking out. Both signs of a good day to come. Debating all morning whether I want to hike up to Rampart Lakes, and I think the answer is yes. Also, realized I got to take my first mountain dump, and all the trails have a little map icon for a toilet, so I'm very curious to see what that's like, and that's on the way. So we're definitely going to check that out as well. up and over the ridge to Rampart Lakes. Really cool kind of ecosystem up here. A lot of little ponds. It's almost like a mini enchantment. But the, the main lake of Rampart Lakes is right over this ridge. Trail getting here is sketch. I'm glad I downloaded the map or else I'd be lost. My phone is kind of running low on battery so I may still get lost, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. That's worthy of a picture.
Just waiting for those clouds to move a little to the right and expose that mountain. And I'm gonna grab a picture of this composition. At the end of this trip, I started thinking back to the previous night when I wanted to pack up and head home. I wanted to be comfortable in an uncomfortable situation. In a weird and twisted way, this is part of the beauty of trekking miles out into the backcountry. It brings out the most primitive version of yourself. You're not trying to impress anyone. You're not trying to one-up yourself. All you're trying to do is survive. The outdoors teaches you to be content with just being to enjoy the simplest aspect of life, living.